welcome our viewers to today's lesson thank you once again for joining us and being with me in this lesson i'm your teacher wanjiko wamaida so today we are going to look at verbs in of motion that is verbs that describes motion in kikui i hope you're going to move together and you're going to learn more as we continue the first verb is wothie 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 which means to go wothie wothie for example in a sentence you can say the red wothie canada the red wothie canada meaning i want to go to church the red wothie canada so the word wothie means to go another verb you can have the word wokinya 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 so this word means to arrive it means arrive for example previously in a previous sentence we said the red wothie canada the red wothie canada so the moment you reach church or you arrive at church you'll see nedakinya kanida nedakinya kanida wokinya kanida wokinya kanida to arrive in church then we have another word which is woikoroka 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 this word means to go down for example a staircase or maybe in a direction that looks like you're going towards the south we say woikoroka to go down for example it can also be to go down a hill to go down a hill to climb down a hill is also woikoroka or a hilly place you say woikoroka woikoroka Woikoroka. An example in a sentence. An example in a sentence. Um, the red woikoroka. The red woikoroka. I want to go down. The other word that we have, or the other verb that we have, is wotweka. 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 Wotweka means to become. To become. Kutweka. Kutweka. For example, when you were small, we used to say, Dane neha geda kutweka dagitari. When I grow up, I want to become a doctor. Dane neha geda kutweka dagitari. Kutweka means to become. Kweda geda kutweka dagitari. Kutweka dagitari. To become a doctor. Then we have another word that is koigera, koigera, koigera. Koigera means to enter, to enter. Koigera, koigera. For example, areda koigera nyoba, areda koigera nyoba. She wants to enter to the house. Areda koigera nyoba. Areda kuigira nyoba. You can repeat this word again. So, uh, uh, koigira. So, we can say it together. Koigira. Koigira. <coughs> From there, we have another word which is kuhaisha. 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 For example, um, if we go to, an ex to the example, kuhaisha. Kuhaisha. You can say kuhaisha or kuhaisa. Kuhaisha, kuhaisa. That means to climb. An example, uh, so here, for example, you want to go up a ladder, the staircase, or uh, you go, you want to go up a hill, then on the top, at the top of a mountain, you will say kuhaisha, kuhaisha. If you want to go up, a tree we also say 
kuhaisha. For example, in a sentence, an example in a sentence, I can say, can say, nyuma kuhaisha kirima. Nyuma kuhaisha kirima. I'm from climbing a mountain. I'm from climbing a mountain. You can also say, are da kuhaisha moti. Are da kuhaisha moti. He wants to climb the tree. Are da kuhaisha moti. He wants to climb the tree. So another verb that we have is wokua, wokua, wokua. Wokua means to die. Wokua. So when a person has died, we say wokua. Wokua. That person has died. Wokua. An example in a sentence is to can say. Uh, Arare moruaru kinyago kuwa wake. He was sick until his death. Uh, he died. The other, the other word is kuroka, kuroka, kuroka. Kuroka means to to go somewhere very early in the morning. To go somewhere very early in the morning. Kuroka, for example. So this word mostly is used to. Uh, we there are sometimes some uh, you find ourselves that we have woken very early. And then you have gone somewhere else. That is very early. Sometimes if we go to the village, we'll have those people who wake up very early and then they go to, to their neighbors. So we say, Koroka. An example in a sentence. Mokanie koroka wa kwa kiroko. Mokanie koroka wa kwa kiroko. To mean, please stop him or her or warn him or her to come to my place very early in the morning. Mokanie kuroka wakwa kiroko. So that means you are trying to tell that person or you are sending someone to tell somebody who comes to your place very early in the morning to stop. Mokanie kuroka wakwa kiroko. We move on. Then we have the word wushiaruo, wushiaruo, wushiaruo to mean to be born, to be born, wushiaruo, to be born, to be born. Uh, for example, when you are reading the eulogy of people in Kikuyu, we normally say wushiaruo wake, wushiaruo wake. That means you want to give us a story about where that person was born. You want to give us a story of where he was born, so we say, Woshiaruo wake. Woshiaruo wake. As we continue, we have another uh, word which is Woshiara. 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 Which means to bear or to give birth to a child. For example, you can say, um Athire the Fitare Wushiara. Though it's not a very polite sentence, it's just an example of a sentence of which you know, yeah, it's not a very polite one, you can see. Um Ngobe Ngobe Ereda Wushiara. Ngobe Ereda Wushiara. Then we have another example, Kuma. Kuma to mean to come out, to come out. For example, in a sentence, Are da kuma moshie. Are da kuma moshie. Are da kuma moshie. Meaning, he wants to leave home. Then we have the other another word, which is gosoka. Gosoka, gosoka, which means to come back. To come back. Um, Bereda wushoka mushi. Bereda wushoka mushi. I want to go back home. I want to come back home. You can, maybe if you're telling someone, you can tell them. Bereda wushoka mushi. That means I want to come back 
home if for example you live in Nairobi you left your rural home and now maybe you feel like you want to go back home you'll tell them that means I want to come back home then we have another word which is kohetoka 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 means to pass somewhere or someone for example uh, in a, a, an example in a sentence I'm going to give two examples to show to pass somewhere and another one to show to pass some someone uh, so the first one I will say um, the red they have to wake up to the Canada they have to wake up to the Canada that means I'm almost passing the church I'm almost past the church they have to wake up to the Canada then another one to show to pass someone means um the red are the red are going to come out that means I want to pass Kamau. Then we have another word which means Kohetokira. 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 Which means to pass by. That is on your way to another place. For example, let's say that the church is been between your home and the hospital and you are going to the hospital. You will say, oh, I will pass by the church on my way to the hospital. So that is you are moving from home to the hospital, but you can use a route that passes through the church. So that is via. So you will say, Gohetokira, Gohetoka Kanida, Gethie, Tifitari. Gohetoka Kanida, Gethie, Tifitari. Then we have another one, another word, which is Koigera. Koigera, Koigera. Koigera means to enter. Koigera, Koigera, to enter. The Reda Koigera, Kanida. The Reda Koigera. I want to enter the church. The Reda Kuigira Shukuru. The Reda Kuigira Shukuru. I want to enter the school. Then we have another one. Woikara. 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 To means to stay. It can also mean to take too long somewhere. To take too long somewhere. Or also it can also mean to stay. For example, the reda wikara nawe. The reda wikara nawe. Meaning, I want to stay with you. Wikara nawe. Wikara nawe. To stay with you. Then you, uh, we have another word which means, uh, which is wikara niya. Wikara niya. Wikara niya. So this word means to live together. To live together, for example, a family, as a family, um, or maybe as a married couple, we say, Woikarania, to live together. For example, Toreda, Dereda, Woikarania, Namaina, Dereda, Woikarania, Namaina, meaning, I want to live together with Maina. I want to live together with Maina, meaning, Woikarania. Dereda wikarania na maina. So this word too can also means to sit together. To sit together. For example, I can say, Dereda wikarania nawe kanitha. That is, that is to mean, I want us to sit together in church. Then we have another word, which is korara. 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 Korara, which means to stay overnight. For example, um, you can say, Maina areda korara. Maina areda korara. That means, Maina want to stay overnight. 
Maina arenda kurara. Maina arenda kurara. To mean he wants to stay overnight. So, my viewer, we have come to the end of those words, of the verbs in motion. We have so many verbs in motion. I want to give you an, an assignment. Look for more words, for more verbs in motion and try to make sentences with them. With that, you are going to learn more and you are going to enrich your, uh, your knowledge and expand it uh, in this language which is Kikuyu language. So I want to um, I want us to end our lesson there till we meet again and thank you for following and thank you for liking our page and thank you also for subscribing. Continue uh, liking our videos, continue subscribing, share with the friends till we meet again. For now it's a bye bye.